And now, let's see if Gracie has succeeded in reviving Sir Aubrey Smith. Uh, are you feeling all right now, Sir Aubrey? I think so. It was a bit of a shock to realize that I'm going to see my May Whitty again. Uh, do you think she'll have me this time? Oh, you're going to propose tonight? Of course I am. I'd even go down on my knees if I thought I could get up again. <laughs> well, now, Sir Aubrey, that's where you've got the wrong approach. Why propose in such an old-fashioned way? Old-fashioned? But yes. Dame May Whitty is a sweet little lady in lavender and old lace. Opposites attract, you know. When you propose to someone as dignified as she, you, you, you've got to be a little forward. A little forward? Well, yes. Walk up to her and say, Day May, it's so nice to see you again. Do you, Neck? <laughs> I, I couldn't do that. I'm not the type who can ask a girl to Neck. Hmm. I just go right ahead. <laughs> well, um, no, no, I, I'd ask her. In fact, it's probably been so long since she's been in combat that you may have to... <laughs> Mr. Allen, obviously you don't know Dame May very well. If I even suggested necking to her, she'd unquestionably hit me over the head with her parasol. Well, maybe you know best. She is a rather old fa Oh, oh my goodness. Look, she just came in. Oh, uh, here I am, Dame May. Oh, how do you do, Miss Allen? Jay May, look who's here. Do you happen to remember a boy named Aubrey Smith? Why, it is Aubrey. Well, I guess I'd better leave you two to yourselves. I know you have a lot to talk about. I'll be back later. May, it's good to see you again. It's good to see you, Aubrey. Let's neck. <laughs> My hearing isn't quite what it was. Did you just say, let's neck? Sure. I do it all the time. <laughs> Great spot. You, you mean you, you actually neck? Are you kidding? I'm known in my set as Rumble Seat Whitty. <laughs> You needn't look so shocked. But, but, but I can't believe it. The May Whitty I knew 50 years ago was a prim little girl who blushed if a man looked at her. That was 50 years ago, Toots. <laughs> you want me to be a round haircut all my life? This is incredible. Oh, don't pretend you're such an angel. I've heard all about you and your doings. You have? Certainly. Many's the evening I've heard your name kicked around in the powder room of the Palladium. You go to the Palladium? Every Saturday night. That's the night the Marines get in from San Diego. Marines? Yeah, ma'am. Not that I don't love the soldiers and sailors, mind you. But those Marines... Brother, God <laughs> By George, what a few years in America can do for one. Yes, it's a little bit different from our early days in England. Do you remember the night you proposed to me, Aubrey? i never forget it, my dear. You said you needed a little time to think it over. You do remember, don't you? Of course. Have you thought it over, May? For 50 years. <laughs> I'm ready. Well, you never were one for snap judgment. <laughs> but but, but uh, I'm not quite sure it would work out, May. No? Why not? Well, I've grown used to a much more gentle type of female than you seem to be. You see, I've been going out, well, with Earl Carroll girls. <laughs> oh, basic training, eh? <laughs> Well, by comparison, you are a little wild, May. To tell the truth, I'd think twice before I brought you to home to my mother. Well, perhaps we'd better get used to each other all over again, Aubrey. Yes, we'd better start from the very beginning. And what's a better way than by having a date? What are you doing tonight? Not a thing. I've been on the town since Mickey Rooney was drafted. 
But if we do go out together, please try to remember that I travel with a very hep crowd. <laughs> I shall do my very best. Well, how have you children been doing? <laughs> oh, splendidly, Gracie. Yes, we're about to blow the joint. <laughs> and get our boots laced. <laughs> Uh, yes, we are going over to the Palladium and, and uh, cut a few. <laughs> and she ain't just beating her chops either. She, um, she uh, ain't. Not that kid. She's a solid potato salad. <laughs> well, shall we take a powder, Aubrey? Okay with me. If you'll promise to eliminate the negative, I'll accentuate the positive. <laughs> And we latch on to anything in between. <laughs> Goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye. My goodness, don't English people talk funny? Say, <laughs> hey, Gracie. Did I just see Sir Aubrey Smith and Dame May Whitty walk out of here to go on a date? You sure did. And you said I couldn't do it. Well, I'll be done. For once, I have to hand it to you. Oh, well, I've done just as well before with other people. You have? Even better. There was a man once they said no woman would ever marry, but I got him a wife. Really? Sure. And you've been very happy, haven't you? <laughs> oh, come on, home. So long. Forces Radio Service.